Hello again from Metro Manila, <clears throat> the Philippines, Southeastern Asia. Brief, a Canadian news headlines found on the website of the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation for Saturday, October the 20th, 2018. As always, I just want to give the possible viewers a chance to find these news headlines there in a primitive, here in a primitive form, admittedly, but no copyright infringement is ever intended by me in these informal broadcasts. Privacy Commissioner investigating personal data collection at cannabis stores. Um, 100 hour work weeks, competition in video game industry fuels concern over extreme overtime. Bud and breakfast, Canada's cannabis tourism industry is about to take off. Iceland airplane makes emergency landing in Bagot in Bagotville, Montreal, Quebec, due to cracked window. I owe my life to this game, Jordan Tutu, retiring from NHL. Final report in 2017 to 2018 spending shows 19 billion uh, Canadian dollar federal deficit last year. However, when we put it into a historical perspective, <clears throat> Even this deficit, though a large one, is still a far cry from the uh, 30, roughly 30 to 40 billion dollar deficits of that time uh, that were regular in Canada in the for most of the 1980s and early 1990s, let alone the uh, truly unflattering Canadian annual budget deficit record at the federal level over 55 billion dollars in the fiscal year 2009 to 2010. Winter is coming, but will the Games, meaning the Olympic Winter Games, return to Calgary? Calgary Police Association files grievance over cannabis ban for officers. Workers tied up in armed attack on legal Ontario pot grow up. Tokenism and optics. Inuit orgs or organizations slam the federal government on nutrition north consultations. Toronto police create first ever missing persons unit in wake of MacArthur investigation. Okay, uh, the last two headlines for were for October the uh, 19th, sorry. <clears throat> 